All I know is, when I stand up beside somebody else that got big arms, their arms look little. That's all I'm gonna say. All day. Oh! Oh! So here we've got the cluster set. They're going uh, five reps from the Smith machine close grip bench. We're not using a Smith machine to do kind of like some soft type of thing. This is just because it's less cumbersome. They can lift it off and go. So you start with your 15 rep max. When we do 15 reps there, start with it. Do five. Rest 15 seconds. Repeat that sequence. Once you can no longer hit five, go to four. You can no longer hit four, three. You can no longer hit three, two. You can no longer hit two, one. And obviously if it's less than one, you gotta take some weight off the bar. But don't let those wrist intervals drag on. Get as much as done as possible in that five minutes. You get you can be shooting for 10 plus sets in five minutes. Hell of a pump. And you know you, you go to 15 rep max today, so some you know big meat type of weight. So have at it. The fat grip here, it's obviously gonna build a very strong grip. This will be good for any you know self-preservation situation, be a potential father-in-law, wherever the hell else. You just got kind of gusto behind. But anyways, for the muscle building effects. So using that uh, using that overhand pronated grip, so he's obviously using all the forearm muscles, pronator terrius, brachialis, all that stuff. And he's really getting, you know, obviously get blasting forms that that fat barbell, he's in a fat bar here. So what you do is you're gonna take um, a weight you can do 10 to 12 reps with on a reverse curl with a fat bar right there, doing a five second negative, okay? You know, a fat bar, you use fat grips, you can use towels, whatever. If the straight bar hurts your wrists, you could use um, a curl bar. So there's a lot of different variations of this, and that's what you wanna do. But anyways, you run five minutes straight, do three reps, five second negative, and uh, watch your arms, watch your forearms grow. Okay, things are going good. We got Tupac going. It just puts everybody in a wonderful mood. Very excited about that. But anyways, on to the workout. So take what you can do for a 15 rep max at this point in the workout, okay? So you do five reps, rest 15 seconds, repeat that for five minutes. We're doing those on the floor, we're pausing the dumbbells on the floor. What that does, break up the eccentric, concentric strength, um, excuse me, the eccentric and concentric phase of the lift. If you use that starting strength to overcome it, it should be a totally different overload that most bodybuilders are, um, you know, used to wearing a lot of power to do this. When I was bench pressing and competing, this is one of my favorite accessory tricep movements, and I've used this for a lot of the greats from Jeremy Hornstra to Al Davis to James Strickland, so on and so forth, of all these great bench pressers. We've used this exercise at one time or another. A lot of, a lot, for a lot of people, since you are having to break up that eccentric concentric chain, you can't get too sloppy. As long as it gets too sloppy, it's relatively elbow friendly. <laughs> See, they have a hell of a pump now, and it's it's awesome. The reason we're using the machine right here, we're to, you know, people always say the problem with machines is, you know, they get rid of the stability factor. Well, that's the reason why we're doing it. So we just blast that muscle right there. Eight reps. You go, um, you go eight reps, rest 15 seconds, do that for five minutes. Be a little more guessing there, probably simply doing it for 15 to 20 reps. At the start, repeat that sequence for five minutes of 15 second rest, and you will be in for a hell of a pump. 10 minutes to go. Okay, we've got the machine dip here. You know, machine dip, you can obviously do body weight dips. We just want to do something different today. We did that last time. So going to eight reps there, resting 15 seconds, repeating that for five minutes. You probably got something to do for 15 to 20 reps at this point in the workout. Off, incline dumbbell curls. So what you do is it puts the elbow slightly behind the body, hits the long head of the biceps and stretches everything. This so you don't want to shorten the range of motion. If so, what you do is like a mechanical advantage drop set. So 
at this point in the workout, they can weigh, they do 15 reps, so they do five rest 15 seconds. You know, get making sure they get a full range of motion. If you hit failure, keep you want to keep your hands supinated the whole time. If you hit failure, what you do then is switch to hammer curls, stand on the incline. Okay, if you hit failure then, then you can go to standing hammer curls like that. If you hit failure on those, you probably started off too heavy and you just gotta figure out another plan of action at that point to grab some lighter dumbbells or whatever. Yeah, uh, a lot of arm workouts. It's uh, every curl you can think of, uh, tons of volume, and that's fun and all. But you know, for some of us, you got to get it in, and when you can, you got 30 minutes on a lunch break. This is a great way to bang it out. The pump is equally as good. Um, Intensity is really high. Uh, no rest. It's back and forth, back and forth. Works uh, best with a partner because you have some competitive spirit going on. You don't want to quit if he's not quitting. Another angle is sometimes you have people that might have, you know, for like a power building type approach, they might hit like the main core lift in the morning and they can do this in the evening because they may not, I was just talking to a friend of mine um, named Paul Leonard about this via email um, the other day and he was, we were saying, you know, he could possibly do like the core lift in the morning. So the accessory movement, I mean, he's not a bodybuilding for powerlifting, but like say for instance, you do like a bench press in the morning, then hit the accessory movements in a cluster type fashion, 30 minutes in the evening because he doesn't have, you know, an hour and a half to put together, but he has two minute, 40 minute blocks, things like that. So there's all sorts of ways you can do it. And I mean, we're not using all either. So the thing is like a lot of times, you know, people think of like a, you know, 30 minute workouts can be some goofy kind of like shake weight or I don't know what the hell they're thinking, but something like really absurd. This is like still going pretty heavy, starting off with weights that are in that hypertrophy range, the traditional one, but doing a hell of a lot more volume in a hypertrophy range in a less amount of, I don't know what's going on there, but less amount of time, so. If you like these videos, all we ask is you like, share, and subscribe, and we will keep them coming. All day, oh! oh.